Buses could be so much better in BeamNG, and this mod proves it. It's the Hirochi Aero Bus Mod by JNR231. It's a Japanese city bus made in 1995. It's right-hand drive only, but it's one of the highest quality BeamNG mods I've ever seen. But today, we're going to be looking at it from a different angle. Could this be the start of BeamNG as a bus simulator? So it's a standard, fairly compact, City bus, typical for Japan. If we go to the interior, you can see the really high detail cockpit. The front door opens, as does the rear door. Can we open it? There we go. But it's not just that. There's other openable panels, especially here at the back. This is the engine bay, and I've got to say, it's one of the highest quality engines I've ever seen in BeamNG. We've got fans and rotors that spin around, and look at this little gauge here, like an oil pressure gauge. And it even moves. Look at that. And we've got an emergency exit, which you can open. And look, the little tab for the emergency exit. Um, flap comes off. Ready? This is one of the best features. There's 16 buttons here on the side panel. Interior lights, stuff like that, service lights, rear roof fans. Oh my goodness. Yep, look, the ventilation fans do actually work. That is so cool. It's only when you compare this bus to the Wentwood in the vanilla game that you see how much of an improvement it is. Look at the interior here. It's so low res, absolutely no detail. And you can open the engine bay, but look. <laughs> look at that. There's nothing there, really. You can also walk onto the bus. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, it kind of struggled to get up, but once you're in, there we go, you can kind of walk around. It's kind of difficult, the snowman is pretty fat, I guess, but we can walk all the way up the bus. We even have air suspension, so let's do kneel down. Look, we're kneeling to the left to allow wheelchair passengers to get onto the bus. And you can also lower the bus, as you can see here, also to aid wheelchair passengers. This bus actually feels incredible to drive. We've got a 15 litre diesel engine, which is pretty peppy. Oh, and you can also pair it to an automatic or manual gearbox. We've got the six speed automatic here, which is better for highway driving. I mean, it is pretty fast and it drives so well. Very different driving experience to the Wentwood bus. It feels a lot more floaty and it still feels realistic for a bus. It feels really, really weighty, very heavy, but because it's slightly shorter, oh my, you can kind of drift it weirdly. Now you have to be going pretty fast. So you can kind of do this. Oh, whoa, here we go, drifting a bus. Uh oh, oh, oh dear, that is a big crash. Wow, look at that, the front panel's opened up somehow. So what is the J-beam like? Well, it's a big bus, so it shouldn't deform too much. Here we go, it's about 50 or 60 miles per hour, wow. The front has been completely crumpled, but the back has remained pretty much in shape. I mean, look at the damage on the inside, it's crazy. And I also like that the grab handles are animated and kind of sway um, as the bus moves, that's really cool. Thank you very much to Beanbot, they did an amazing summary video of this mod and talked about all the features I've shown so far. But now, let's talk about something a bit different. BeamNG could be the best bus simulator out there. Far better than anything we've seen before. And to find out why, we're going to have to drive into the city. So first of all, BeamNG is incredibly easy to mod. I've got the TFL Transport for London skin pack here by Gborg98. This is a London bus in stagecoach livery, and I've got to say it looks great. The one problem with this bus is, because we're in West Coast USA, uh, the door is on the wrong side. People have to walk all the way around here to get onto the bus. I'll of course leave links to both of these mods in the description below. This must be one of the least used features in BeamNG, but you know the bus routes tab? We can actually use the aero bus on this map with the bus routes. As you can see, there are only five maps in vanilla BeamNG that even have bus routes. It's definitely an underused feature. So the bus routes are pretty simple scenarios. We've got to stop at 11 bus stops in this specific one. And look, the signs even light up here. Two Belasco Boulevard, that's actually Boulevard. That's the route we're driving on. It's awesome. As you can see in the top right, it shows where we're going next. So I think we're going to the convention center first. Uh, I need to remember how to open the door. Here we go. Stop here. Break. Oh, that was not a great stop. Okay, kneel the bus. I think we've got to do it every time, have we? Uh, kneel. There we go. And then open the doors, front and rear. And we've got to wait for five, four, three, two, one remaining passengers. Okay, this could be quite a tight corner here. It's not got. A, it's got a really bad turning circle. Probably worse than most buses you'd find in Britain, at least. There we go. Okay, so this game has brilliant physics. We know that. But there are other bus simulators out there that simply don't. Like, for example, OMSI. Now, OMSI has as good detail as this bus here. You can touch all the buttons, you can interact with everything in the bus, but the graphics are pretty 
bad. In fact, they're awful. Let's just quickly make sure I've got all the lights on. There we go. Doorway, exterior, interior. Do we need that? I don't think we need the service side light on. Oh, green, go. Yes. Awesome. Right. Turn. Please turn. Oh my, the turning circle's not good. BeamNG could do with a bit more traffic, but uh, compared to some of the other bus simulators out there, like Bus Simulator 21, the graphics in BeamNG are just so much better. The lighting is amazing, the shadows look good, and just the texture work, especially on this modded bus, maybe not so much on the Wentwood, they are brilliant. BeamNG basically has the best of both worlds, the detail of OMSI and the graphics of a game like Bus Simulator 21. We are really dying out for a good bus simulator, especially, you know, Bus Simulator fans have been kind of uncatered for. There have just been no good games recently in that genre. The tragic thing about BeamNG is not only that they haven't put the love into the Wentwood bus that it deserves, but the bus routes in this game are just so underused. Like some of the newer maps simply don't have the uh, bus routes in them, which is kind of sad. And the worst thing is you can't even use buses in the career mode, BeamNG's experimental career mode. They really need to add that. It's such a simple career, uh, like driving career, that could be added to this game. Oh, turning circle. Oh my goodness, really, really bad. I don't know why it's this bad. You know, J Japan has pretty tight streets. This bus just is not capable of going around a corner sharper than about 45 degrees. Now, BeamNG doesn't have any people models that actually get onto the bus. They're just invisible people. And I've seen some of the terrible player or people models in sim games, but I don't think it really needs it. I'm st I still feel immersed. I still feel like I'm having a lot of fun with this. And yeah, I don't think they need to go overboard with the features. Maybe a way to make money and have to, you know, use the... Where is the ticket machine? I think that's the ticket machine there. That'd be a cool feature. But uh, I'm more have just blown the Wentwood bus out of the water. Look, I mean, look at this. It's so detailed. Okay, can we get round here? I need to turn really soon. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. That is actually a 90 degree corner. We're doing okay. You just have to turn pretty early. Right. Stop here. It is getting pretty annoying to have to press all these buttons, but I guess it is realistic. You know, a bus driver would have to do this every single time. So BeamNG devs, if you do watch this video, or if, I guess if you've seen this mod on the repo, please consider rethinking how buses work in BeamNG. We need more support for better bus missions. Include them in career mode and please, whoa, uh, increase the quality of the Wentwood. It's just not good enough at the moment. But I really would like to hear your thoughts on this. Maybe you don't think bus simulator style gameplay is the way BeamNG should go. I do think it would be a cool feature to add just in the career mode. The bus route system I don't think really works. There's no real benefit for actually doing them. You don't even get XP in the game's scenario system. But wow, we're cruising along at almost 100 kilometers per hour. This is pretty fast. And the high speed stability? What? It just feels like such a heavy vehicle. Oh, and we can drift. Yes, we can in a bus. And look, with the relative camera mode, you can actually sit as a passenger on the bus. This is so cool. But that was my quick overview of the Hirachi Aero bus and what I think BeamNG could do with buses in the future. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Check the mod links in the description. And if you want to see some more BeamNG, click the video on screen right now. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. That's all from me. And I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.